Shannon, you just got stronger and stronger in this competition. Two silvers and two golds tonight. Talk to me about your balance beam routine. You put more difficulty into your mount, and you did use the Miller move, but it wasn't what we usually see. <laughs> um, well, for competition three rules, which was for finals, um, I had to have more difficulty, so I put in a front mount. And um, my Miller, I could have done it better, but... Well, let's talk about the floor exercise, too. You went last. You saw uh, Dina go before you, and I watched your coach, Steve Nuno, talking to you right up to the very end, walking around the podium as you were about to take your start position. What was he saying to you? Um, mostly he was telling me that landings count the most and to stick my landings and to take my full in up. So. Congratulations. Uh, you feel strong. And, and one other thing, why do you feel, feel you just got better and better in this competition? Is it really that you're just a competitor and if there's somebody out there that challenges you, you're just going to respond? I think partly um, I like the challenge. I like to rise to the challenge. And um, I did in this competition, so I feel really good about that. I just wish I would have done this well in the team competition. Well, congratulations to both of you. Thank you. Shannon Miller, just as this year's World Championships, started a little slow, but by the end, she earned five individual medals here in St. Petersburg. So is America's most accomplished gymnast ever. She will add to her already impressive collection of five Olympic and seven World Championship medals, five from the Goodwill Games. So in the end, Shannon Miller got what she came for here in Russia, gold at the Goodwill Games. Well, Nick, Shannon Miller may not have been perfect tonight, but she was awfully close. Fred, she's arguably the best gymnast the United States has ever produced. And I was just overwhelmed by her performance tonight. Two gold medals. She did it with spirit and guts and daring streak. And tonight, we'll watch the men swing into action. Russia's powerful, but so are other teams. So let's go now to Bart Connor with Kathy Johnson for the specific.